here we have the line discrete chart and you can see down there it requires one day dimension and one or more measures so let's go ahead and experiment this with the order date and let's take two dimension profit and sales and let's click over here all right so what we have is basically discrete in the discrete line chart basically two measures uh, which are shown on a separate uh, uh, section so generally how i would like to consider is more like a side by side bar chart or a side by side circle views if I will. and uh, if i need some sort of uh, expand uh, or i need to expand this a little bit say for example in each of the year i want to show it for each quarter i can click it over here so now the section are going up there 2014 15 16 and 17 and for each of the year here are the quarters that you can display and this is basically possible because uh, there is a pre-built hierarchy uh, there in the order date so it's basically uh, within the order date uh, this is the year which comes by default but if you go down there you have uh, the option of when you expand it you have the option of quarter month day and uh, so on and so forth so in the case of quarters you will be you will be seeing that uh, the pill will show you that it is a quarter information and once you expand a little bit more it will show you the month so that's that's how uh, very easily you can select uh, or you can create the discrete line chart by selecting one date dimension and one measure apart from this the regular operation that you can do on this chart is basically making the size a uh, little bit uh, intuitive let's say for example based on the discount so here in this case you have basically two cards one is uh, sum of profit for this particular section and next cards for sum of sales so let's say we want to do this for sum of sales so let me put it over here and only this information will be changed so as you can see wherever the section is getting thicker or the line is getting thicker that means the more discount and wherever it is less that means the last discount let's try to apply the same thing on profit and go over size and here also as you can see wherever the section is thicker that means the more discount and if it is uh, thinner then it means less discount so that's how you can make it more intuitive apart from size what you can do is you can put uh, it on the color and uh, wherever the color is basically dark that means more discount and color is uh, not dark but a little bit light that means the less discount so that's how you know you can basically make your chart much more intuitive and meaningful for your end user so that they have a good understanding about what you are really trying to show uh, on these different sections so that's pretty much all i have for you in the discrete line chart and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic